Still haven't got a handle on making a fleet in Japan's attacking me. Uh, who are you playing as? We are still getting some. I mean, part of the problem is this is just flooded with Italian and French ships right now. Like, this is not a very nice place to be for the Allies currently. Did we lose Malta? Yeah, Marshall, you were right. We did lose Malta. Um, where are my planes then? Oh, we're still in North Africa. We can reach. Yay for high heavy fighters. So people were asking earlier, what's the difference between a light fighter and a heavy fighter? This is what heavy fighters can do. Their range is huge. Bearing in mind, this is just the 1936 model. This grows. And those aren't upgraded either. And we are now, in fact, losing heavy fighters. Okay, noted. And we're building up a surplus of infantry equipment because there's no way of supplying China. I mean, we could try to supply Guangxu. And hope that they can bail the Chinese out. That might be a better way of doing it. Xinjiang's another major. Communist China no longer is. Rangxi have lost 700,000 troops. Like, they've been fighting hard. And they're actually in a much better position than China is right now. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to send you some more guns. Though we do need to be very careful. Like, if Britain loses... Oh, sorry, Britain. If China loses Sichuan here, then it's game over. So China, I'm going to modify this. I'm going to cancel it because none of this stuff is actually getting through because it doesn't actually say this doesn't get through, which it really ought to. And now we can actually see that they have some ships. So we're going to go 100% of my monthly production of all of this. And we'll send you 30 convoys to make sure that gets through. Go! Right, and England did try to send me a couple of expedition now. Ooh, quite a few of them, in fact. Wait, where are those two? Why have you given me random units in the middle of Africa? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're calling them back. Fair enough. I thought you'd given me the units, you know, actually fighting in the Netherlands right now. But apparently not. That That's apparently a silly idea. You guys are actually getting entrenchment, which is not good for the Germans. Okay, if 1941 happens, and I still haven't lost the Netherlands, I am going to leave. I'm going to do the evacuation. Because the AI is just being stupid right now. Like, obnoxiously stupid. To the level where I'm going to save this and then reload the save and see if that kickstarts the AI. Come on, Germany, you're better than this. I think I've done too good a job defending the Netherlands. If I was going to do a game with um, Aronia Bolvin, this this should have been it. <laughs> How the map looks different. <laughs> Yeah, they're not doing the dance anymore. That's what I was hoping this would fix. So they're going to get their planning preparation up and then they'll attack. Ooh, this was better. That's because the uh, British Mediterranean fleet just arrived. One light cruiser, destroyer, and three convoys. 
Good, good, good. And we have some free dockyards, which are going to be used to build the K-14 class. I don't think I'm going to bother upgrading them. Just leave those in Holland for the time being. And then you... We're going to have send over to Batavia, to Java. However, I should probably say, don't really want convoys coming through here. Pretty please. Nor through here. Actually, just, just stay away from this whole area. There you go. Okay, and now we can upgrade. We wanted the... Aircraft designer. Cool Hoven, so we can get the heavy fighters and the tactical bombers. There we go. Oh, they're doing the stupid Eindhoven dance again. If the German AI was smart, they'd have paratropped behind me and likely have capitulated you. If I knew the AI was being smart, though, I would have left some units as a garrison here. Just like dirt cheap garrison unit garrisons. But I know the AI is not smart. Three destroyers from the British were lost. However, we sank three destroyers and a light cruiser. That one was... Good for us. I mean, I can kind of see what they're trying to do here. But I think they're doing a really, really bad job of it. Because if they keep attacking, then my units can't ever replenish. They can't ever get their organization back. And that has actually been working for them. But what they need to do is, like, have... One or two units in Leuwarden who just don't attack. Let them get up to 100% organization, then attack with them. While keeping the others who just keep rotating. Ooh, hello. We sank a heavy cruiser, four destroyers, and a couple of transports. That's more like it. So, who was going to be your Admiral? Um, you. I need the retreat chance. What's your other traits? Yes, he is hiding your caustic personality right now. You know what? No. Fulmer, you're going to be in charge. This is your chance to gain some experience and show me what you can do. Where did I restrict the area for my convoys? So if you're in the naval display, you can click on these provinces and then click these buttons here. And if it's the yellow exclamation mark, it means avoid, which means warships can go through there, but convoys will not. And if it's red, everyone will avoid it. And then if there's no thing at all, then people will sell through as normal. Oops, lost... Don't know, the Brits lost two subs. That's not me. I'd say that's fine, but it's not fine. We're about to get the defeatist government. Yay! The Queen fires the defeatist ministers. Tired of the extensive defeatism permeating the government, Queen Wilhelmina has pu pushed for the firing of the guilty ministers. Minister President De Gea, rather than lose face so publicly, has been allowed to step down due to health reasons. It's hoped that he will not cause us more trouble in the future. His replacement, Peter Soyotica Blondi, has already distinguished himself in his rejection of De Gea's defeatist attitudes. If he maintains this attitude throughout the war, he will serve as a fine example to the rest of the cabinet. We've got our little Churchill. And with that, a big improvement to war enthusiasm. 
support. That too. Uh, right. Yeah, the Varplex gives us more critical population. Nice. How are we doing for Pop, actually? We are fully mobilized. We have 46,000 still remaining. Okay. That would allow us to lose aloof neutrality, but that doesn't really matter. The one I really want is this. Ship a day sinking quotas. Although we also need to reinforce Java so we can get the foundations of defense or curtail colonial autonomy, but I don't think I want to do that until we've actually capitulated. However, do we lose the Dutch East Indies if we capitulate? Let's do a quick save here, just in case that is in fact the case. And we're going to start working on the other focus. Go with Britain. Or... Oh, that's a bypass. Which we don't need. I don't remember needing to click for a bypass. Singapore conferences would give us research bonuses for naval doctrines, or Varplicht would allow us to have more recruitable population. I think I would like to have recruitable pop. Although that's also going to disappear very, very soon. You do not lose the Dutch East Indies if you capitulate. Okay, good. Good to know. In that case, we are going to do Varplicht. After 150 years of neutrality and decades of increasing pacifism, we must prove to our new allies our resolve to fight. Rather than rely on a volunteer-based merchant navy like other nations, we will sign into law the Varplicht, or the obligation to sail. Yes! All Dutch citizens who have not yet been conscripted will henceforth be obligated to perform several services for, at the benefit of, the merchant navy. We really are the navy with a state. I like it. Overall, what would be the easiest way to play as the Netherlands? Playing the historical settings or joining the Germans? Probably joining the Germans. Like, one focus which I thought was a lot of fun, just like in the idea behind it, was if you do join the Germans and you go with... Assume the naval burden. This basically turns you into the main naval producer for the Axis. So it's basically up to you to defeat the Royal Navy and the US Navy. And that's that I, I like that idea. It's just like it's like it's a cool idea for um stuff to do. Just notice the teacup matches the shirt, taking it to a whole new level. It doesn't it's still the blue one. What do you mean because the blue is the same? Not intentional, but yeah it is actually. Message from South Africa, cancelling their Lend-Lease. Sinking convoys. Oh! Well done, Britain! We sank the pride of the Italian Navy. The Caio Dulio, the early heavy battleship, has been sunk. As well as a light cruiser and six destroyers, and we lost only one naval bomber. Not too shabby. Done indeed. Holding back the German legions in the Low Countries. And this thing, I'm not even trying to do this. I could have made this defense a hell of a, a lot better than I have, actually, because I was expecting to lose it. Okay, so we've now got the tech. So let's go ahead and start getting the new heavy fighters so we can upgrade to those. And then also the new tactical bombers, plus the new submarines, the new light cruisers, the light cruiser armor, and then... We should be roughly where I want to be in terms of equipment. Am I still researching the new guns? We are. That's fine. What are the German casualties now? 800,000. We still only have 2% participation here. We have, however, killed the second most Germans after the Free French. 
And that's close. They're only 17,000 ahead of us. Loyalists took 19 stents. The Const Constitutionalists were annexed. The CSA won. We might well have an America... Sorry, a uh, Germany-aligned USA. It does kind of look like that's going to happen here. Oof. Three destroyers and a battle cruiser for the Brits, and one Canadian convoy. There's a huge naval invasion going on here, so the Allies are very active in Africa right now, which I think is the right decision. Take out the African provinces, use them as a springboard, springboard to go after Italy. Hey Mordred, am I running a mod or the Loyalists for the USA? Nope, this is vanilla. That's the uh, vanilla American Civil War, which can trigger if you do certain things. Um, I'm playing with a random USA, so the USA is doing whatever it wants in the focus tree. Same as Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, and Mexico. Everyone else is uh, historical. After months of bloodshed and untold thousands of casualties, the Second American Civil War has come to an end, how in Yugoslavia. President Douglas MacArthur has declared a major combat operations to be over. While some remnants of the rebel government still keep up an ineffective resistance campaign, most have either been rounded up in the government sweeps or melted back into the civilian population. According to President Douglas MacArthur, the war was clearly the work of foreign influences seeking to destabilize and divide the country. In time, he promises, those responsible will pay back their debt to the recovering American nation in blood. Dun 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 dun. The French is still putting up a fight here at sea. Some of you are actually losing experience, that's not good. Some of you are gaining a massive amount of experience, but some of you definitely are not. Still sinking a few things, although we are running a little bit short on submarines now. Seeing as there's nine of them left out there. Well, actually, we started with 20. We've only lost just over half. Plus all the other ships. But hey, they don't count. Helfrith isn't in charge of them. He can hardly be called... Uh, he can hardly be considered responsible. Bloodiest hearts of iron wars I've ever seen are the Japan versus Russia wars in Kaiserreich. Where it ends up as trench warfare in Siberia and eventually either Russia or Fintiang, China runs out of manpower. Yeah, those can be pretty, pretty bloody. How's Guang Shi doing? He's still got a fair amount of manpower. I'm currently feeding a lot of guns to Guang Shi, hoping that they can participate in pushing the Japanese back, or at least just halting the Japanese. Because if Japan gets all of the resources of China, that's going to be very, 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 very bad for me, especially, because I'll be in the Pacific. I will be the Pacific Frontier. Okay, we have got the tactical bombers. Let's continue upgrading so we can get the other tactical bombers. Still sinking stuff, that's good. The naval battles seem to be less conclusive, which I really do like. The naval battles are more of an ongoing combat, so it's, it's quite a lot more about attrition and how you can use your ports to repair, which was one of the real intentions behind the um, naval update. Make naval wars like more continuous rather than one big smash, then it's over for the rest of the game. I think that's going to become increasingly true later on, as ships get faster. Kaiser Reich never stops, work, uh, never stops crashing eventually, have I made it work long term? As long as I ever play those games, yeah. I think I've made it to 47 or 48. I tend to get bored of it after that. Or rather lag becomes a problem rather than crashes. 
The Atlantic Naval was often called a tonnage war in real life, a battle of attrition, so hard to find for mimicking, that makes sense. Yeah, and I think the Battle of the Atlantic is generally going to be just, whoa, a lot more interesting now. Okay, so the British just delivered a massive blow to the French fleet. Four light cruisers, 19 destroyers killed for only two losses. How did that happen? Dutch subs, obviously. I'm sunk by HMS, HMS, HMS. I'm seeing if there's anything which is one of mine. Nope. Most of that was done by the, I would say, the HMS Ajax. What is the HMS Ajax? It's a light cruiser. And the Valiant? The Valiant was their battleship. So it's the light cruisers and the battleship that did all the damage there. Interesting. That was a hell of a victory, actually. 19 destroyers is a blow. October 1940. I'm, I'm going to keep my promise. If it hits 41, I'm going to start withdrawing from the Netherlands. If Britain can hold it, fantastic, but I'm, I'm going to withdraw to Indonesia. I mean, actually, no, not fantastic. I want to lose the Netherlands so I can start doing some of the Indonesian stuff. And I can just tell that, like, the uh, declaration of war in this game is going to be Japan declaring on me to stop me feeding guns to ch uh, China. See, Modi, thanks again for the uh, donation. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Ajax fought near Argentina in real life. Got his ass handed to it by the Hrafs Bay. Cool. That's that's some knowledge right there, Troubleshooter. Oh, sorry, yeah, uh, Greystroke. No, that was Troubleshooter. Ajax like cruiser and it's named after the hero, so incorrect. Ah, I'm saying it the Dutch way. Ajax is the Dutch way of saying it. I know Ajax is the hero. But we're playing as the Dutch right now, so I'm allowed to pronounce it the Dutch way after the Dutch football club. Because, you know, Ajax. Citing the Roman Empire as a forerunner in the modern Italian states, Italy has claimed that its independent Greek states had no right to exist. Instead, the Greek territories must acknowledge Italian supremacy in the Aegean or have it seized by force. Lost a sub, bugger. We do seem to be losing a fair number of subs in that area. Funny how he wanted to restore Rome so he allies with the Germans. I hadn't even considered that, but yeah. Message from Norway changes diplomatic status with us, cancelling the lend-lease, so that must mean that we have a surplus of everything we do. Have we beaten the French yet? No. And the UK has just overtaken us. And we are definitely losing the air war. So I really do need to start making more aeroplanes. Hey Britain, could you please send guns to China? Because they really need it. Also, you're getting very close to Chongqing. Japan's lost 1.6 million. I mean, you're definitely making them bleed. Wang Shi is the uh, second most kills. How is Japanese manpower? I mean, they can now mix in Chinese, but they're not cores, so it's not going to be as much. You're already on extensive conscription. Oh, these guys got pushed back. Oh, Germany. You just need a little bit more. 
Oh, Germany declared war on Sweden. That doesn't often happen. I guess because Germany was unable to take Norway, so Sweden's joined. There's a lot of Norwegian troops up here. Interesting. Sweden may actually be able to hold this. I don't think I've ever seen Germany go after Sweden before. That's interesting. Lost another sub. Bugger! How are we doing the sub production? I mean, we've only got the three naval yards, so it's going to be slow regardless. In fact, you should be drilling right now. And you know what? I have some political power. So I think it would make sense to begin working on these. Five times that would give me another civilian factory. Five times this would give me another civilian factory in three places. So we're going to do the East Indies oil companies first, actually. Slightly more expensive, but worth it. I thought that is actually going to cost me 500 political power. It's also going to make us a massive exporter of oil, however. Okay, so we don't need to import as much steel anymore, apparently. And am I actually exporting any oil? I'm not currently exporting any. I'm not exporting anything! Ugh. Now, I wonder, if you improve relations with a country, does that mean that they're more likely to trade with you? I have a feeling it might. One way to find out. Because I'd quite like the Brits to be buying oil from me. Isn't this always the way you want to lose and somehow you don't? Yeah. I would laugh if we lasted until, like, D-Day. We become D-Day! There we go. There's more and more troops just come flooding into this little pocket. Right. We have tactical bombers now that we could be building for the, uh... Naval bombing. Improved relations does make them more likely to accept your trade. Not sure if it affects AI behavior to buy from you, though. Because I know there is, like, a trade opinion thing. Which is determining how likely they are to... Uh, AI nations are to buy from you. So you lot need to be assigned to protecting East Indies holdings. That's going to require 18 units. Well, we're hopefully going to be shipping a bunch of these home, so we might actually be able to get a good coverage down in Indonesia, which makes me very happy. Why can't I click on that? No, I can't. November. We're getting close to the evacuation day. What a good way to commemorate D-Day by becoming D-Day. And yeah, they're wasting everything. Like, this is going to make the game very easy if we do just stay here, because they are completely inept at actually attacking us. Somehow Free France is still killing more of them than we are. Oh, because of the fighting up here, of course. <laughs> 